Hello oh, there, in this Brick Rookie, and today we will be reviewing the Destructoid set 70726. Um, ages 8 through 14 and 253 pieces. This set, um, is pretty cool. It comes with three pretty good minifigures. Um, it also comes with the awesome Destructoid, actually. And there's pretty cool features to the set. So let's go ahead and look at the minifigures right now. So the first minifigure is General Cryptor. Um, of course I already have him because of the Kai fighter set, but um, he hasn't changed that much. Only like the weapon. Um, it's actually pretty big, and he's pretty cool actually. Um, of course he's my favorite Nindroid and all. I do like others, but I of course like the General. Not because he's high ranked, just because of how he looks. And probably throughout the series, he might get a little bit better and other stuff. But this is a pretty cool minifigure. You guys probably already know the backstory of him. Now let's take the armor off and see what he looks like without the armor and other accessories. So this is what he looks like without all of his uh, accessories. Um, just a normal Nindroid. Still pretty cool since I can use this for my Sig Fig. Um, I do enjoy what um. And in store for this minifigure. Um, so yeah, he's pretty neat. He's pretty awesome, I should say. So yeah, I do enjoy Sig Fig and, or not Sig Fig, but minifigure. But yep. Now let's go on to the Mindroid. So here's the Mindroid. Um, he has like a little weapon here with some sort of overlord thing down here. Um, he has a normal Ninjoid mask, and of course on their face, a normal Ninjoid head, different General Cryptors, um... Really cool back printing and other stuff, but this is basically using simple Ninjoid pieces. But if you want to make them, you can use it just by using this headpiece, um... This little, um... Ninjoid piece that's from Kohl's, or not Kohl's, but the Hover Hunter. And black stubby legs, like Lord... Young Lord Garmadon, and also, um, just Ninjoid Helm, and there you got the, um, General Cryptor's, I think, second lieutenant, um, or not second lieutenant, but I think third lieutenant, um, Mindroid, which doesn't make any sense, but yep, pretty cool. Um, now, let's go on to our last minifigure. So our last minifigure here is Zane, um, he's holding his exclusive Techno Blade, which I have... Lost some um, pieces in the set and all, but of course, um, was borrowing the second blade from my brother from the Ninja Chopper. But um, he basically is pretty neat. He has awesome front or back printing actually, just normal. Like if you get Battle Amazon, it's a little bit messed up here in the back. Just like a little piece of, or a little part right here is up, but um, pretty cool. He also has a ice like thing right here, which you Zane fans like me like that and all. Yep. He's pretty neat with that printing right there. Um he usually does not look like this, of course this is Techno Rope version. I do like the hair in the scarf and of course it's just a normal face. Can't wait to get the ninja chopper, my own ninja chopper in this set. Yep. It's pretty cool, and other stuff, and also with the General Cryptor, um, thing piece right here, that you cannot see, that's also being borrowed, or used from my Ninja Chopper set, since this set was losing a couple of pieces, but yeah, I hope that I get those pieces back and all, but, so pretty cool. Now, let's look at the final, and, like, the final set, or not final set, I don't know, I'm screwing up, but, Let's just go to the set, and let's look at it right now. So this is the set. Of course, Zane has no vehicle on this set. Just him with his Techno Blade. But, um... I see John... You really don't see John Crypto in here, even though that he is in the set, as you can see. Um... Controlling the Destructoid. But yeah, that's the one thing that I just want to point out to you guys, if you cannot see him. But basically... Um, this set uh, is pretty neat, um, he does, or not he, but this vehicle 
does come with a ton of different features. The first one is if you just pull it um, like this, these blades start moving back and forth, which is a really neat feature. Do you like that about this set? And what gives this set re really, really good look is basically it's um, not really good look, but it makes it look like it's more armed as these two. Um, little missile things and this thing, which looks like it has some energy being shot out. I hope this set returns, um, in the series. Not set, but this Destructoid returns in the series. Here, I really wait for it and all, but it's still pretty cool. And here's another, um, cool thing about this set. Sorry if I'm fiddling with this stuff, but I'll show you in the more features of the set r right now. Sorry about the screw ups and all, but now let's look at the set. So right here, um, right here this piece of name, get out of the way. Um, so this piece right here, um, why am I saying um? But this piece right here, um, launches something, which of course I do have a missing piece also from this launching part. But if you see right here, I have Zane, Zane, I you'll be a testing thing. No, I don't want to. Just just be a testing thing, please. So. I just touch this this piece I show you, so I just pull it. Okay, this doesn't need to be supported. It like locks and loads, and then you just shoot. Well, of course, that was my all my ammo, of course. Oh, jeez, sorry about that. Um, I'm getting peace. Jump, I bit. There's three in here, but I did lose a piece, or not lose a piece, but I, um, the piece wasn't in here and all, so, I had to do that. But yeah, this set's pretty cool. Now let's look at more of the features of the set. So this set basically, um, of course you can see throughout the review I was turning this around. It's 360, which is pretty neat, and the command center is really cool. Of course there's stickers, of course. These are stickers, and there are two s small stickers in the command pad thing, which is really neat. Um, these, of course, are printed, but you know. But these do have a articulated thing. It's really cool. Sorry about that silence. And also, this has a pretty cool feature. If you just lay this on the ground, oh, dang it, not working. But basically, this. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's not working. How about I just show you guys? So, basically, you just have the sun, I saw part of the ground, and this moves. Alright, I'm trying to have a good spin. Alright, that's a good spin right there. So, basically, this is a really cool site. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and other stuff. And also, make sure to... Make, and also, sorry if I'm saying the skin, but also make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and sorry if I just have my sick figure right here, he's actually fighting General Cryptor. And Zane right here is fighting, um, the Mindroid, of course. Um, pretty cool. Sorry if I'm trying to back printing, you guys are probably interested in this main figure, which I am, since I'm a biggest Zane fan, I guess I'll say, since I've been a fan ever since 2011 of him. So, yep. And of course, this is really cool. So I recommend you guys buy it. Um, it does retail thirty dollars if you buy it at Target, and thirty five dollars if you buy it at um the Lego store. So yeah, hope you guys like this review. And sorry for it being so long and all this stuff. Sorry if I repeated and screwed up. Um, I will do a lot more better. But if you subscribe, um, you will get quality reviews. You will get um. Awesome mocks, awesome other stuff like that. Good sound motions in the summer. So, so subscribe to, to that and all. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. So, yep, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Favorite if you want to, um, and share as well. So, yep, hope you guys like this, and see you guys later. Bye!